Hi guys, it is Type 1 with Carly here again. Um, I know I just did a video like two days ago and I'm really sorry for the really crappy quality. But look, I got a new camera. I'm so excited. So it shouldn't be as pixelated or as blurry. Um, and yeah, hopefully the sound goes through all right, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> All right, so purpose for my video today is I want to show you how to check your blood sugar levels if you don't know how to. Um, I know most type 1 diabetics should know how to do this, but this kind of goes to those who maybe don't understand it because they don't have diabetes themselves, or those who are newly diagnosed and even though they were taught it, I mean there's so much information thrown you at the same time. Sometimes the most simple things run past you. So um, yeah, I hope this video helps. Please like this video or subscribe subscribe to me. Um, yeah, I will show you how to check your blood sugar levels. All right, so how to check your blood sugar levels. So I just had a little blood sugar and I had a juice box and a snack. So I'm expecting my blood sugar levels to be a little bit higher than normal, but that's okay. They should start to come back down. All right, so first of all, you need to open up your handy dandy diabetic kit. Voila, there you are. You need to pull out your meter. For me, I use Bayer. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, I'm just getting over a cold. All right, then you need to get your blood glucose strip. Oops, this is the strip that you're going to insert your blood. Um, your blood will go on this end right here, and then this part will go into your meter and it will be what tells you. So basically, just looks like this. Bloop, and then you'll have your meter turn on, and then it should tell you to apply your blood. So I don't know if you can see what that says, but it says apply blood. All right, so next, I need to take my uh, Lancet. So this right here is what's going to poke into my finger and make the blood come out. So in order to prime it or pump it back, I, for mine, I just pull it back, but keep in mind that each uh, Lancet poker thingy is different depending on the company. So I'm going to pick a finger. Um, I'm going to use my right hand because I haven't used it much today. Um, I was taught, and I found it actually to be very true, that if you're going to poke your finger, the best place is definitely not to poke it on the meaty part, so like the main part right here. Try and poke it towards the nails because you actually have less nerve and less sensation there. So it hurts quite a bit less. So I'm going to poke my finger right here. Did it work? Sometimes it doesn't because my finger shakes, especially coming off of a low. Try one more time. There we go. That worked. So I have blood. Woohoo! All right, now I'm going to apply that blood onto my meter. All right, now I can choose from a couple of different selections. I'm just going to choose no mark because I'm not about to eat. And it's not after a meal. And, oh my gosh, look at that. I'm at a perfect 4.8. That is a beautiful blood sugar level. Um, this is in millimoles per liter. Keep in mind, this is not milli, uh, dec milli milligrams per deciliter like they measure in the states and stuff. So this is actually a fantastic number, so I'm really happy with that. <clears throat> Once you are done, all you have to do, I like to just wipe off the blood on the side of the strip. You just remove your strip, and you throw it in the garbage. And voila, you have checked your blood sugar levels. Hope that helped, guys. <laughs> 